Okay, nakikita niyo po ang ating lecture, yung ating unang slide, the teaching profession. Yes, nakikita ko na po ano. Uh, ayan. So, actually, the first question that I usually ask about uh, uh, to my students about this subject is that, why do you want to become a teacher? Diba? Marami nang, although actually may mga nag-estudyante na ako dito last semester sa ibang mga subjects, but I'm really interested to know the reasons why uh, despite the the complaints, diba? stories of hardships and difficulties diba? of teachers, especially in the so-called, in the new normal, you still wanted to become a teacher. And you know what? It's not actually bad to for you to say that you are you wanted to take the teaching profession because this can actually give you a stable and permanent job. Diba tama yun? Yun ang reason natin. We are all graduates of our respective courses. But later on, the reason why most of you wanted to be in the teaching profession because this is what is mostly available and can give you a stable job. Pero, tama naman yun. It's, that's practical reason kasi aside from considering the teaching profession as a as a mission as a vocation it is also a profession when you say profession uh, we are actually making a living tama pero hindi naman masama na tayo ay naghahanap ng stable job pero at the same time we are still committed to the the, the responsibilities that we really need to perform as a teacher na ba so next tayo Yan. So I'm, I'm always saying that the success of every learner is totally dependent on the creativity of the teacher. Tama po yun. Uh, it is really sad to know that there were experiences of trauma. Lalo na po sa elementary, ano, naranasan nyo siguro yan. Yung kung paano tayo tinuruan ng mga teachers natin noong panahon natin. Diba? We are, sabi ko nga sa mga sudyante ko na nakakabilang sa age range natin, we are products of a very painful education. What do I mean by painful education? Ano ibig sabihin natin ng painful education? We are products of threats. Tama? Kapag may hindi ka ginawang activity, palo ang kamay mo, kurot ka, pag naglakad ka, tatalian ang paa mo, lalagyan ng masking tape ang bibig mo, di ba? But none of us complain. Di ba? Kasi akala natin ganun talaga ang education. But we are products of a painful experience. Di ba? Because all we thought, because that's how education should be. Pero considering that education has been undergoing a series of uh, revision, and the total uh, doon yung revision of the educational system, nakikita natin yung iba't ibang mga proseso na kailangan natin improve in order for us to ensure that education is serving its true purpose. Pero considering that the teacher is one of the main influential and main factor inside the, uh, in the classroom in the teaching and learning process, hindi naman sa siya lang ang sinisisi natin sa lahat ng pwedeng mangyari sa bata pero the teacher is the most influential. Diba? Your negative or positive comments about them diba? will affect their lives forever. But when I was, you know what, I just wanted to share, when I was in grade 2, you know what, I was told by my teacher na sabi niya sa akin, ang bobo mo. At naalala ko yun hanggang ngayon, hindi ko siya nakakalimutan. Diba? Pero kumbaga, siguro I was able to overcome that experience That traumatic experience and negative comment from my teacher Because I took that as a challenge Pero papaano kaya sa mga batang iba yung pagtingin at pananaw Yun na yung tatanim sa kanilang kaisipan diba? So we really have to consider our strategy The individual differences of our learners The art of delivery we have to also consider the sincerity of the teacher, the commitment and dedication, and most importantly, the teaching philosophy. Yeah. Okay, so yun, ano po? Uh, the teacher is one of the most influential person inside the classroom. We are not saying that uh, the teacher is solely responsible to whatever will happen to the student, but considering that the students spend 
8 hours a day. But they spend 8 hours a day inside the classroom. So, malaki ang influensya nila kung anong pwedeng makuha, maintindihan, maramdaman, at maging pagtingin ng bata sa kanyang sarili, sa kanyang future, sa kanyang tangla. Okay? So, and that's the reason why we are trying to strengthen that uh, desire to, to commit ourselves uh, as when we aspire to become a teacher kasi it's really important that you commit yourself to to to, uh, to quality education ano po? mahalaga po yon kasi nga uh, pag-uusapan natin yung anong gagawin mo kung hindi nag-work out yung in-identify mong strategy shall you remain to your design teaching strategy even if you are aware that none of your students are actually learning Okay? Individual differences. You have 40 students inside the classroom, so you are dealing with 40 different individuals coming from 40 different family backgrounds, social, political, religious backgrounds. So how are you going to deal with them individually? Sabi nga natin sa, 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 sa principles of teaching, uh, yung the, 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 there is individual differences. Ba? Hindi natin sila pwedeng i-compare. And each student is possessing the nine multiple intelligences. Okay, so next. Yan, bored. Most of the time, they are bored and motivated. Difficult to understand the lesson. Too much to learn. Okay, and the most common question that we usually ask is that, is there any way to improve learning? Yan. So, you have to ask yourself. Okay? Ikaw ba talaga ay... Nakikita niyo ba talaga ang sarili niyo na magiging guro sa hinaharap? Okay? Anyone would like to answer that question? Do you see yourself uh, as a teacher someday standing in front of the classroom, uh, doing instructional materials, teaching your students, uh, dealing with uh, children coming from different social, political, economic, religious backgrounds? Pa? Kasi tayo noon, di ba, meron tayong comments sa ating mga guro. Yung guro naman yan, hindi naman yan masipag, tamad, nagpapa, nagpapauban ng yan dati. Yung mga ganun, ano? So, yun. So, and then, you are, you wanted to become teacher now. Okay? So, yun. So, it's really important for you to ask these questions, ano, as you begin your journey as a CPA student in Aurora State College of Technology because it's really important that you really are resolved and certain that you really are sincere and committed that you wanted to be trained in this profession and commit your entire life and career for this purpose. Tandaan natin po, uh, we are trying to, to find for a stable job. Siyempre, kailangan natin yon for the sake of our family. Pero it's really important that you stay committed in this profession. So you're going to ask, what is life? Who am I? Why am I here? What, what am I living for? What is reality? What is good to do? How should I live my life meaningfully? Why do I teach? What should I teach? How should I teach? Okay? Uh, ako, if I'm going to share to you uh, the reasons why I became a teacher, actually, it was never my dream to become a teacher. Tama po? Hindi ko pinangarap talaga maging guru. It so happened that the scholarship I am applying for requires me to take an education course. Otherwise, I will never be admitted in the program. So I was forced by circumstances to take the education course. And then when the time comes in which I am about to choose my major, uh, I was not also allowed to choose my own decision, my own, my own choice. Because they told me, you have to take social studies. And I said yes. Ba? The first time I teach, that was in Dingalan, a private school in Dingalan, in St. Patrick's Academy. Tawid dagat po yun, ano? Sinakay sa bangka yung aming mga gamit. And then I taught there for one year. And actually, the first year of my teaching in in Dingalan is really a traumatic experience for me. Bakit po traumatic? Very idealistic kasi yung natutunan ko sa paaralan Akala ko, perfect lahat. Once na ginawa mo ang lesson plan mo, once na kumuha ka instructional materials, and you have the mastery of the subject matter, everything will turn out favorably, and it, everything will be okay. Pero hindi pala yun. Ano? Hindi pala siya ganoon ka, 
kaganda at you're going to discover later on that what has been taught to you in your professional education subjects are totally different from your actual experience. And to add, may nangyari po dyan na flood, mudslide in Dingalan in 2004 kasabay yun noong pagguho ng Villa Aurora and the uh, landslide in in Fanta Quezon, if you can still remember that again. So that was traumatic. No, I am not actually prepared. I, I, I am not resolved that I will become a teacher. I just chose a teaching profession because I just wanted to, 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 to earn the scholarship and finish my degree. I am not really resolved to take social studies my major. And my first year of teaching in, in Dindingaland is really traumatic for me because what I have are actually theoretical foundations na idealistic pala. To add pa yung mga ilang mga, mga phenomena like yung, yung calamity that had happened in, in Dingalan, in Villa Aurora, and in uh, Infanta. So yun, no? Yan, mahalaga yan. So, kung ako yung magtuturo, tanong nyo sa sarili nyo, bakit ako magtuturo? Ano ang ituturo ko? At paano ako magtuturo? Kaya nga, as you go along, it's really important for you to reflect. Ano po? Mag-reflect tayo kung ano nga ba yung <coughs> uh, mga bagay na kailangan natin ihanda. Because as, uh, if you really wanted to remain in the teaching profession, you have to be psychologically, emotionally, physically, intellectually ready. Because those are the things that you need to uh, uh, to improve in order for you to remain okay, uh, active, remain uh, committed okay, in order for you to remain efficient in the teaching profession. Ayan. Tuloy na natin to. Sabi nga ng 1987 Philippine Constitution, uh, the education okay, sector shall inculcate patriotism and nationalism. Foster love of humanity, respect for human rights, appreciation of the role of national heroes in the historical development of the country, teach the rights and duties of citizenship, strengthen the ethical and spiritual values, develop moral character and personal discipline, encourage critical thinking, broaden scientific and technological knowledge, and promote vocational efficiency. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, you are graduates of your respective courses, tama? And once you completed the the, the, the certain units in the, in the CPE program, you, I believe you intend to take the let. The let. <clears throat> and your major or area of specialization will be according to your undergraduate course. Most of you siguro are graduates of the PSIT, Forestry, Agriculture, mga ganun na mga courses natin. Diba? And not all of you will uh, not all of you ay makaka, uh, magiging related sa social science. Pero ang ibig sabihin ng ating Philippine Constitution dito, regardless of the orientation of the subject in which you are about to teach, when you became teachers, diba? it is not an excuse. Okay? <coughs> ah, sorry po. Hindi siya excuse at kailangan natin gampanan ng ating mga responsibilidad bilang mga guro na nagtuturo po ng patriotism and nationalism foster love of humanity respect for human rights ibig sabihin uh, regardless of the nature of the subject in which you are about to teach it is your responsibility to always inculcate patriotism and nationalism in your subject okay yan, inumun mo lang Yan. So, teaching us your profession, vocation, and mission. Sabi nga dyan sa ating quote na nakalagay dyan, I'm changing the world one day at a time. And so I teach. Okay? Ganyan di ba ang ating mga paniniwala? You wanted to teach because you wanted to change the world one at a time. Anong ibig sabihin ba nito? Ang, ang, ang pagtuturo pa kasi ay, as nabagit ko naman na kanina ay, ito yung pagkuha natin sa ating higher purpose. Ano po? Profession, evocation, 
and a mission. Okay? So, as a profession, sabi nga dito, a teacher is an intellectual midwife that is facilitating the birth of knowledge. Sino po ang gustong magpaliwanag dito? Na gustong mag-share ng kanyang idea regarding our quotation here from Einstein saying that a teacher is an intellectual midwife that is facilitating the birth of knowledge. Anyone who would like to take the opportunity to share and explain their opinion regarding the, the quotation here? admit na wala na screen natin ayan okay sino gusto mag magbigay ng opinion ng kanilang opinion regarding dun sa ating quotation kanina about the, the teaching profession okay a teacher is an intellectual midwife that is facilitating the word of knowledge anyone would like to share sino ba mga present tingnan natin kung sino ang mga participants na narito, we are already 34, so pwede bang tawagin natin itong si Miss Adona Miss Adona volunteer na lang, kung gusto nyo magsalita if you wanted to speak and, and share something about the, the quotation that we have here in our screen so you can switch on your microphone and start. Edison, parang nakita ko na active. Ah, okay. 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 Okay, thank you. Tama yun, ano? So, ang, ang midwife, hindi siya ang gumawa ng bata. Para ganon. So, ibig sabihin, we acknowledge the fact that knowledge is already in each student. Diba? And that the only thing that the teacher needs to do is to facilitate it, the knowledge, the birth of knowledge, which is already there. Okay? Hihintay lang niya lumabas. Diba? Hindi ginagawa ni teacher yung knowledge. Okay? The teacher is just facilitating its birth through different methods and strategies that will allow the